Come to Remora TC to trade like a shark and not get eaten by one. Let's school together to protect and grow our money. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's leap day, let's review some charts. We've got Microsoft here. This is a weekly chart, I'm gonna zoom in for us. You can see this flag pattern taking place with the red self signal here and the flag up this way. The next likely move is gonna be downward, okay? So we'll take a look more carefully. Switching to the prediction on 26 February, the prediction on that day was some resistance up here, as well as right here, price failing and going down further. On 26 February, I talked about some overhead resistance here, as well as here, with support down below at around 407, and that the price action would likely fail due to this bearish divergence. Switching to leap day, 29 February, you could see that price found support here. And on the last three days, it attempted to go further below 40682. Instead, price kept moving forward and upward. One thing to note is this higher volume candle down here. And that tells me that it looks like Microsoft wants to continue its upward move, perhaps to retest all time highs, or even get up here to around the 430s. I made these pink red annotations here to say that these are likely resistance resistance points and we'll have to play it by year for now i think price will continue to go upward and it will also likely continue to grow its divergence perhaps if it breaks the all-time high here and the rsi remains low there would be even more bearish divergence so for now upward moves but i would uh, caution those who want to go long on Microsoft because of this long-term resistance up here. Gold Miners ETF. This is the weekly chart. You can see that for the past almost year and a half, there's this downward trend. My thesis is that we're gaining some bullish momentum down here uh, for a nice long opportunity. On 26 February, I annotated all these possible points where price will find support and that the overall thesis is upward. Let's see how we did. Uh, turning to leap day here on 29 February. I want to note for you that uh, price came down and did indeed hit this support line. Okay, so this purple trend line is, has been one that I've depicted for a long time, switching back here for you. So here's the purple trend line. And I said if it comes anywhere around down here, around here or here, that it's a good opportunity for a long. And so on this candle right here, you can see that I hit this trend line and uh, I sent out a note to the group to say uh, it's a good opportunity for a long. And today you can see increased volume. And let me zoom in here for us. Here's an indecision candle. Price opened up here, in fact, okay? And was sold back down throughout the day uh, and then held the top of this gap. My thesis remains uh, unchanged. Price is going to bounce around here in this area for a bit, but the overall move uh, is likely upward. Okay, that's leap day. Now, I have this one slide here I want to show you. I sent a note out uh, 23 hours ago. So this was at the close of yesterday to say, hey, GDX is at a good, nice objective position for us to take along for those who want to go long. My question for you is, did you see this? I'm not super familiar with how YouTube's communities work, so I, I made this post. Put a comment for me to let me know if you saw this post, because if this type of more near-term, almost uh, a day trade, I'm not going to use the word day trade. I don't really like to use that, but if it's you know, an actionable trade, uh, it, would it be useful to you for me to put this sort of note out? And so this is one that I've done only yesterday. Okay, let's go to Exxon Mobil weekly chart. You can see that there's this long uptrend and then a lot of sideways action, and then even a downtrend here, and you can see a bearish rising wedge here. This is the weekly. On 26 February, uh, I spoke about overhead resistance here at the gap area, as well as this 200 day moving average, and that there would be some support here and in general a downward move lower and that was all because of this uh, new bearish divergence switching to leap day 
you can see that the past couple of days, price attempted to move up and test this resistance area. And each time it failed, you can see that there's growing selling volume, but not a huge sell signal. The bearish divergence remains. Therefore, my thesis remains unchanged for the low prices for Excel Mobile. Switching to Bitcoin, this one has been uh, very challenging for me to predict. But I do want to notate on this weekly chart, this red annotation. The red annotation, I'm going to zoom in for you, is from a weekly standpoint, price tested many times here. This was when? This was, this is the beginning, the first quarter of uh, 21. Found a lot of resistance here. Price eventually failed. And then when it finally came back up in the September, November time frame, didn't stay up there for very long. It was sold down and there was this huge, huge move. Two thirds of the price uh, dropped back down to like 16,000 over here. Okay. Then now here we are at the same point. It's not exact, I would say, but what I'm depicting is today's price action for this weekly candle shows that it is at the same, I'll call it resistance point. It's um, something for us to pay particular attention to. If you're a, a bull for Bitcoin, or if you have, if you own Bitcoin, okay, then maybe take your profit you know, because uh, history shows that the psychology of sellers comes in in this zone. And in this zone, the buyers don't seem to have much more strength left and price could drop. So I would take profits now if I were you and then uh, wait, wait to see what will happen. All right. So let's switch to the daily candles here on 26 February. My prediction was price would come up hit resistance at this 59,000 zone and fail. And we all know that I was uh, drastically wrong. So here's 29 February, leap day. Here's the 59,000. I'm depicting here, and I have the star here, that this 59,000 I thought was going to be a lot of you know strong resistance. In fact, it wasn't. Price then busted through, and now it's at the 62,495. I think I depicted the star in the wrong spot, this one. So let's take a look. Let's go back to the weekly chart. And the star is at the 61,000 almost. Okay. It's not perfectly drawn. It was hand drawn. So let me just annotate it, re annotate it for us here. The star here should actually be like up here. Okay. So this zone up here is where long term support resistance line for Bitcoin. My thesis is if Bitcoin goes over this line, the 62,500 line, and finds support there, then it may be long term support. Okay. It may be like this. Okay. This may all be support if it gets over there. Okay. And stays over there. So if price goes over and hangs well up here, then that'll be support. So going back to the weekly. Yeah. So if price, if price gets over here, it may find support and continue. Okay. If it gets over, it stays over there and continues. Whereas over here in this area, you can see that price went up and right, found some support. But then when the sellers came in, it was lights out. So I caution those who want to be long up here. Yeah, I really do. Take your profits. Okay, uh, that's all I have for this week. Uh, good luck with your trades. As always, remember that my content is for educational purposes only. It's not investment advice. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And when you subscribe, please do hit the bell icon.